We are looking at the um, the next race, which is the uh, race for the uh, Standard Boat Women's Race uh, featuring um, Premier Women and Senior A Women. And we've got uh, leading off Czech Republic, Lane 1, Second Hungary, Premier Women, Germany, Premier Women, 3, 4, Ukraine, 5, Senior A Women, Czech Republic, 6, Italy, Senior A Women, 7, Great Britain, Senior A Women, 8, Ukraine, Senior A Women, and Czech Republic, Senior B Women. So that's the next race. I'm going to hand you over to Murray Jones for this next race, and we will be back very shortly. Yes, the crews are um, milling around, just, um, easing their muscles from the training period. Um, the race is due to go off in about uh, a couple of minutes, or maybe maybe just a bit more. Um, so, yes, they they're not being called in at the moment; just rotating, and. Um, Presumably the helms with their little uh, microphones and cox boxes that, that broadcast to their own team in the, along the boat. Giving them a rundown on remembering what it is they're going to be doing, how they're going to do it. Yeah. A Great Britain lady just going by. There's been nine boats in this race, which will be rather, rather more interesting. They, I know sometimes that we've had to uh, really think carefully about how we set them off because uh, some of the boats start coming round the bend as the last boat of that race is all just starting. A lot of individual. Um, uh, discipline to um, know that the, the paddling is exactly the same all through the boat and also in time with each other because we do get out of time I've been in the old boat when it feels like you're stirring cement and um, in a boat where it's all working properly it, you, you, you just can't believe it's going so well a Hungarian boat did a bit of a uh, bit of start practice. Yeah, so they now begin to form themselves into into order. I can see a start man on the on the pontoon below me. So he will. Uh, so they actually start the boats about twenty meter, twenty meters before the line. Um, and the time for the race is taken when they cross the, the start line, which is the directly below, below where we are with the, uh, with the camera. So uh, they've got a chance to uh, accelerate to their transit speed. And, um, and so they, the timing is for the whole, whole event around the course. Just taking a little look down below. Oh my! I've lost connection with the internet, which doesn't help. I just keep chatting on what I can see, which means that we are in in a position to be fairly close for the start of this race. Uh, all the different uh, people with um, their own interests down below in little groups, all the different colours of the nations, ready to cheer their team on. There's an awful lot of different colours in the in the boats. Of course, the home team have got a uh, home country have got a pretty large team altogether in this they've entered a lot of events and of course one of the things is to um, get more people interested in joining dragon boats seeing trying them out 
getting into a team and going off and seeing how well they can do. Now the steerer obviously wants everything to be exactly right. And the, the helm is now getting to uh, get into the right position. Lining up in pairs so that um, the next boat to, uh, to, to race will be almost in line to start with instead of having to paddle like mad to get up to the line. I just see in the background different crews now are getting ready to uh, get in the boats for the, the next race. One, two, three, four, five. The Great Britain team have got themselves in a bit of a pickle there. Out of number. Out of order. Oh, they're near enough. It make no, makes no difference, but we've got to... Uh, Got to rely on the starter down there, Mr. Said. You'll notice that the Great Britain team do what I always get them to do when there's a bit of a wind around. They've got their paddles flat against the boat, straight down into the water, which provides an extra keel, whereas people who hold their paddles out at 90 degrees flat act as sails and the boats get blown backwards and there's a bit more of a freeze now than when we started uh, the racing in fact it's probably quite a bit more flags are holding up yeah now the, they're being called forward now number one so very shortly There we go. Race number four. Czech Republic. Premier women. There they go. And their next door neighbours, Hungarian ladies. There's not, not total synchrony, uh, synchronicity going on at the moment. Better now. Well, not when they were starting. But a little bit laboured. And we have Germany. I remember a German uh, drummer who really was making an awful noise in uh, in her boat, really roaring at the crew. Then next come to Ukraine. And Ukraine's other colour, yellow. So those four are the, the premier women. Now it's the Czech Republic senior A women. Here they go, starting, pulling the boat. Come on, get it going, get it going, get it. Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. That's it, going faster and faster until they've got the boat up on the plane. And that's their pace for the race by the look of it. Italy senior A ladies, women. They are at every event, and it's good to see. We'll be seeing a lot of them in Italy in uh, September. Yeah. Great Britain, senior A women. Uh, got a pretty good lift off at the beginning. Pretty good timing. And this is U Ukrainian blue ladies. And it's the senior ladies. And the back. 
Let me check the public senior B ladies. There we go. Right, they're a bit more sedate than some of the others, isn't it? Uh, paddler number four there on the on this side. Isn't using much of the paddle in the water. Makes life a little bit di more difficult for the other ones. Just going to see if I can um, get myself connected to the server again. Right, so they are there. Oh, the first one's halfway down the course again, on the way back. Offline again. It's a very weak signal here. Now Czech Republic pulled out a fair distance between them and Hungary. And looking at the tops of the paddles and the handle hands on the top of the paddle there. All along the boat. Good timing, good timing and they hitting the first part of the stroke. Yes. Doing well, they're doing well. Slightly slower rate of paddling in the second boat, <laughs> in Hungary. And they look like they're going to be caught by Germany before too long. Oh, there's a couple of boats fairly close together up at the back end there. so we can see who they are. So number one Czech Republic, number two Hungary, number three Germany coming across the line, number four Ukraine, that's all of the senior uh, premier women rather. We get the first of the senior women, Czech Republic. All kinds of encouragement coming from the bank. And Ukraine doing the bend. Let's see how close they can get round that corner. Oh, that's very well done. Got the boat sliding across the water to get round the bend. It's the Czech Republic Senior A women just coming across the line now. And we've got two boats together. What have we got? We've got the first of the... Uh, I think it's Great Britain ladies have overtaken Italy Senior A. That's where the helms have to be very careful they don't have a clash. Great Britain ladies. What are they doing? Where are they going to? They're not steering. Oh, I don't know what happened there. They, they went on and on. So the Italian ladies. Is it the Italian ladies? Italy senior A women, yes. They've gained with that big wide sweep that the GB helm took them. They, uh, and I noticed they've lost a the tail. 
yeah, the tail has dropped off the back of their boat and it's floating in the uh, water on the bend there. There's something odd happened then. And I think the umpire has seen it. And these ladies working hard. Yeah, they look a little bit tired, don't they? Never mind. Only one more lap to go. All right, so coming down, I think the GB women have gone through the uh, um, the uh, Italy ladies. At least, yes, they were pretty well spread out now, I and mean, they only started at 15 second intervals. And uh, look what's happening to them now. Doesn't matter if everybody gets a good paddle, then uh, it's worth doing. Czech Republic ladies have really steamed on ahead of everybody else. The Germans look as if they've just about caught hungry. Got another about a two thirds of a length lead to uh, length to get ahead, but and. Uh, Czech Republic have put up their rate of striking, you can see now. The last 150 meters or so to go ho to home. <laughs> and they're really coming home in style. That's good. That's good to see the local, uh, local commentator rather likes that. To see a Czech boat coming in first. Yeah. Hungary and Germany now coming along. I don't think Germany, there's not enough time for Germany to overtake. But of course, it, 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 the, the position, the timing crossing the line is, is the answer, not, not the position in the, in the race. But of course, Germany will have caught up that number of seconds on uh, Hungary. And at the race, right up at the top, we've got um, the last two boats just going around the boy, around the boy at the top. There we are, crossing line, Hungary. Germany and coming along next will be the Ukraine in the yellow uh, Ukraine women and they've got nobody in front and nobody in behind they're all on their own in that space stand by along they go and we cross the line. That's Ukraine Premier Win. They can relax and start preparing themselves for the shorter races. The Czech Republic ladies, seniors. Good solid stroke, but um didn't manage to hang on to the, uh, the, the the others in the premier event. I think the next one's Great Britain have overtaken a couple of boats. Yeah, here comes GB. A good steady stroke. I'd like to see the paddles being a bit more parallel with each other going in. Because you're wasting part of the stroke by the paddle being uh, at a steeper angle like that. And next, Ukraine. Ukraine, who are ahead of Italy now. Uh, 
and Czech Republic senior bigger women coming along. Uh, they're all still youthful, whatever you call them, senior, whatever. They're all youthful in their endeavours. And they've got the same aims as uh, all these racing people at the younger ages. They want to go out there and do their best. Put into practice all the training that they've done. Here they go. Well done, Czech Republic ladies. Senior B. That's good. That's well done. Thanks, Marie. End of that last race for Standard Boat Women 2000 meters pursuit. We'll bring you the times when we know them. But if you're just tuning in, this is the 11th European Nations Dragon Boat Championships, the EDBF, European Dragon Boat Federation Championships. We've seen uh, some good racing already. We've got uh, some even better racing to come. We've had a medal ceremony so far, and there will be more medal ceremonies during the afternoon. But it's a beautiful day in uh, Resisi, north of Prague, in the Czech Republic. And we will have race five coming up very soon. It is scheduled for four o'clock. And that will be a standard boat open, premier and senior A competition featuring Slovakia, Ukraine, Hungary, Germany, Czech Republic Premier Open teams, and Ukraine, Czech Republic, Poland, and Russia Senior o A Open teams. Senior A, of course, are the um, over 40 age group category. We've also got Senior B and Senior C, which is over 50 and over 60, respectively. We might need a another category at some point, as these paddlers refuse to put down their paddles and keep on going. And I don't blame them because this is a fantastic sport. One of the most all-inclusive team sports in the world and also one of the fastest growing team sports in the world. Um, IDBF, the world governing body of the sport uh, with uh, approximately 85 member countries now and ever growing, more and more countries wanted to, gro wanted to join the federation. This... Uh, family of uh, Dragon Boat Federation countries all coming together with the same purpose of bringing the best possible Dragon Boating excellence in their countries. Different countries are at different levels of uh, development. Um, you've got developing nations just starting to uh, take up the sport and at the other end of the spectrum you've got very well established nations like um, China and uh, Canada, the USA, Australia. Um, who've been doing this for a, a long time. Of course, China's been doing it longer than anybody else because that's where the sport originated 2,000 years ago. You saw the first World Cup that we did uh, recently in China, in Fuzhou, where it attracted a, an audience at Waterside of circa f half a million people over the three days of racing, which was absolutely fantastic. And a multi-million audience uh, broadcast around the world, but also um, through uh, collaboration with Chinese Central Television as well. So that was a very good venture. Um, set another standard for dragon boating excellence. We saw some new race categories as well, um, some which uh, spiced it up a little bit uh, and challenged the teams to uh, be more flexible, I guess, and take on something new which they'd not, not done before. So we saw some relay races, which were great to see. We saw the 100-meter sprints, which were... I mean, I used to think the 200 metres was a short race, but literally a few strokes and you've, you've finished the race. And the Philippines took that scalp from China. We saw that earlier on the coverage uh, with them taking China on the line, on their home soil. So we've got a lot to be thankful for and a lot to look forward to as the sport continues to develop. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing this next European race which I again, it's standard boats for the rest of the afternoon, except the very last race, which will be approximately at six o'clock, which is a small boat race. But we're, s we're staying with standard boat, 22 people in a boat racing. And we have some results coming through, which was that last, res last race you saw where standard boat women 
Germany Premier Women, 923.5. Czech Republic, 923.8. Ukraine Premier Women, 934.7. Hungary, 940.4. And then we had Senior A Women, Czech Republic, 958.4. Great Britain, 958.7. Ukraine, 1001. Czech Republic, 10.30. Italy, 10.42. So that was the last um, race you've just seen. And we're going on to race five, scheduled at four o'clock, but we are running early. Um, the teams for that race are already coming out to do their elliptical warm-up routine in front of the um, main tower here. And then we'll be going back to Murray for uh, race commentary on race five, which features Slovakia Premier Open men's team, the Ukraine uh, going off second, Germany th three. Oh, oh, we saw... We saw somebody in a rescue boat. What's going on? There's Brian. Brian Hartley. Fantastic guy. Um, affectionately known as Father Christmas. He told me the other night that somebody called him Fidel Castro. Um, and uh, I said, well, did they give you a Cuban cigar? He said, no, but they bought me a pint. So, uh, And I shared a drink with Brian together with some of the other members of the um, team last night when we were having our meal. Very nice too. But he's a great guy from Halifax originally, very experienced um, man in the sport. Gives a lot of his time, as do many of these volunteers who make all of this happen. This is not paid staff who do this. This is everybody from around the world, certainly for this event around Europe, coming together to bring you top class racing. So goodbye, Brian, or should we say Fidel? And we shall see you in the bar later for another drink. And... Um, but we are going to look forward to, hey, Papa Smurf. ah, somebody uh, in the chat room has just said Papa Smurf. So, um, thank you, Stuart, for that. Stuart Menzies back in the UK. Nice to uh, hear from you, mate. And um, keep those chat room uh, comments coming in because it is nice. We have just seen Santa appear on there as well, and somebody says, "Ah, bless." Thank you. See you soon. Well, that's very nice to hear from you. So, it's a great atmosphere rocking around this ground and it is only the first day and we certainly expect to see a lot more crowds at the weekend when they're not working and they're able to come and enjoy a whole weekend of racing here at the Rasisi Stadium in Rasisi, close to Prague. Hopefully we might get a chance to go into Prague, beautiful city of Prague. Um, I visited it five years ago when the World Nations Championships were on here and uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time here, both in Prague and on the water. Cherished memories, and these paddlers here are certainly having some cherished memories as they get in the boats, and uh, some doing it for the first time, and some old masters at this uh, sport. But there's always something to learn, and you can never take it for granted because the uh, techniques, the practice... It's continuous. They look like they've got a very good stroke over there, actually. Uh, is that the Italians from distance? Can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, it is the Italians. But they look very nice. Like they've. Uh, but you would expect that from the Italians being uh, uh, very good on uh, appearance and uh, nicely groomed and. Uh, always look good. Always look good. Uh, Although th I think the best looking people today, I have to say, were the Ukrainians with the ladies with the flowers in their hair. I thought yeah. the hippie commune had come back to uh, join dragon boating. But, uh, oh, mm -hmm. look, th there's a bit of a warm up going on on that far side, Murray. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who, that who was that? That was uh, uh, Czech Republic Premier Open. Czech Republic, I think. Yes. Busy showing off, letting all the other people see how fast and they can go. There's Italy. Nice stroke there, nice uh, showboating. But it's all right showboating in the warm-up. They've got to showboat and keep it together when they're under pressure in this 2,000 metres. Will they be able to do it? Who knows? We will find out shortly. We have some results. We have some results from that last race, standard boat women 2,000 metres. And it was Germany 923.5. I think we've already read these, but we'll give you them again. Czech Republic 923.8. Ukraine 934.7. Hungary 940.4. Czech Republic Senior A Women 958.4. Great Britain 
senior women 958.7 ukraine 1001 czech republic 10.3 and italy 1042.6 so any minute now the teams will be called by the starter to start this wonderful fifth race Welcome to the 11th European Nations EDBF Dragon Boat Championships in Rasisi in the Czech Republic. You're very welcome. I hope you've enjoyed the racing you've seen earlier. If you're just tuning in, you're in for a treat because we'll still be going all the way through till 6 p.m. today. The last race of the day should be 6 o'clock, should be actually a little bit we're, we're ahead of time, ahead of schedule. Weather is still absolutely uh, beautiful out here. There's some people paddling in the water, um, and I'd love to be down there with them. Maybe later, maybe I'll even get some fish tickling my feet. The sound of grease in the background. John Travolta. Olivia Newton-John. Ever remember that film many years ago? Did you did you get um, offered the part for that? Didn't you turn that down, Murray? Uh, uh, the uh, the role in Greece, but they, they didn't. There wasn't enough money, so you had to turn it down. Really, you've got your standards. Couldn't agree with you more. You don't suit a leather jacket anyway. I like. I much prefer to see you in that in that lycra outfit you wear for your your canoeing. Anyway, they're coming to the start now. I think we are ready for. Race 5, Standard Boat Open, Premier and Senior A, 2,000 metres pursuit. Slovakia should be coming to the start first. Or are they going to do more, one more rotation? I think they are. They're going to go. I, I thought they were ready then, but they're allowing the teams to go around one more time. And there's the blue and yellow of Ukraine. They're all wearing um, yellow, what well, almost looks like hankies on their head, but... Uh, <laughs> bandanas, sorry. Very uh, Brazilian looking, actually, with their bandanas on. I think I'll just nip over to the studio area where our technical boys are uh, making it all happen. And uh, how are you, uh, our producer, Mr. Keeler? I'm fine. I, I think I'm losing my hair a little bit, but uh, yeah, we, we're going... Going good. It's all going well. Hello to everyone in the chat room as well. We're, you're uh, kind of talking to me now and again, which is nice. Be good for you to say hello to uh, other people at the venue or uh, if they're in other parts of the world, we can uh, definitely get the message out there. I'm not being funny, uh, Phil, but you were already losing your hair before you came to this event. Yes. <laughs> so if you were to lose much more, then, um, you know, I mean, well, I don't really want to say what you'd look like, but uh, you'd look like me, actually. Well, I look like a mini you, sadly. Yes, um, slightly wider than me, but, um, you know, um, <laughs> that's okay, though. We all come in different shapes and sizes and different packages, and so do all the paddlers. It doesn't matter whether you're short, small, long hair, bald hair. It doesn't really matter. If you can paddle, and you can paddle fast and hard and strong, and you can do that for your country, then you will eventually end up doing what these guys are doing now in Europe. P Phil? Exactly. Well, yeah, that's good. Oh, Shirley's just uh, told me uh, she's given me permission to stamp on your foot for uh, taking the mickey about my hair. Do you? D would you like to marry Phil then, Shirley? Uh, I, th I think there's something going on here. I mean, me and Phil's hair is identical, so I'd only be ridiculing myself, really. But um, and I have no problem with doing that. So, uh, but uh, ouch! That was Phil. That wasn't very nice. He's done it, Shirley. Yeah, free on Wednesday. Eh? I'm going to sit in the power chair for a minute uh, of Murray. He's the only one who's allowed a much more luxurious chair. The rest of the team 
sit on wooden spikes to keep them alert. Peter's doing a sterling job, but I dare not interrupt him at all because his concentration is absolute. A sterling performance by Peter Kike, our technical supervisor and uh, one of our camera operators around the ground, high up here in the studio. We've got cameras all over the, over the place trying to bring you some great coverage, but I think um, the cameras right now are focused on the start, which is Slovakia leading off this race five, the Standard Boat Open Premier and Senior A competition. Any minute now. There's a young Slovakian lady down on the pontoon laying right down there with her camera to get a great shot of her team. But I think we're about to go. Wendy Hermelink, the chief starter, is down there ready to set the teams off. Ukraine are behind Slovakia. So the runners and riders, Slovakia in lane one, taking us off, leading the pack, then Ukraine, then Hungary, then Germany, then the Czech Republic, Premier Open, then Ukraine, Senior A Open, then Czech Republic, Senior A Open, Poland, Senior A Open, and Russia, Senior A Open. So for those who are wondering what these Premier Opens and Senior A Opens are, this race basically has nine teams in it where five of the teams are what's called Premier Open teams, the male teams, the uh, um, the youngest of the teams, shall we say, and uh, Senior A competition going on in this race is for the over 40s teams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Murray, we're off. Yes, here we go. A very racing start there by Slovakia. Yeah, they're lengthening out to the pace they're planning to go for the rest of the course. And here come Ukraine. Looking good. Yellow blades on their paddles. All in yellow. Yellow tops. Yeah, really digging in that water. You can see by... After the boat's gone by, you can see the water having been stirred up by them. Here's Hungary. There they go. Number four, Germany. Number five, Czech Republic. The Premier Open team. Yeah. Yeah. Number six, will you the Ukraine in the blue? And that's the senior A open. Oh, that didn't quite work that they were confused then. The Czech Republic senior A. by Poland that lovely red red color of Poland and senior A open of Russia and they've all got they got a full team in that bed so the um, the boats are spread out the first lot half of just completing the bend as the last one start Very difficult for some of these big um, countries, or even, even say in Germany, that uh, a lot of the German team are from the Berlin area and Hanover area, whereas people right down in the south of Germany um, seem to have been overlooked. As with um, with Russia, there's some fairly strong dragon boaters out in Vladivostok, which is right over near um, near Japan, um, as well as in the um, Moscow area.
The spacing seems fairly even with the first lot. Of course, those are the premier teams. Then we get the senior teams. There's a bit of a gap forming now. Slovakia looked to be ca being caught by Ukraine. They got a steady, strong, slow stroke, the uh, Slovakian, but I think they're, they're conceding some distance to the Ukrainians behind them. I rather think that that stroke on the um, on the Slovakian is all right if you're doing a five kilometres, but they're in danger of being caught on the next round. Uh, Ukraine are going to catch them round here, aren't they? Here we go. Yes, yeah, so you've got to, uh, when you're steering round there, you've got to find a, a balance between getting the boat round and, and causing too much um, friction against the water, which will slow the boat. But look at that, only about a length of clear water between those two boys, the boats now. There's Hungary coming around and Czech Republic. There's all sorts of people flying around now. It's a Czech Republic's premier boat coming around the top of the bend here. Now the first of the uh, uh, seniors, the Ukraine senior A open, and uh, boat number six, and then followed by a boat with a number one on the front. And there's Czech Republic, there's Czech Republic, what have I missed? Uh, uh, and the last two, Poland and Russia. Now I've got to watch the skill of the helms coming round this bend again. Poland have got to... Uh, actually, the, uh, they've been overtaken by a team outside, uh, on the outside. If the others had been on the inside, they'd have had a lot of, uh, a lot of way, but they've, Poland have given way to them, and they've gone right out to, to turn. Uh, the first two paddlers drawing there to pull the bows around. And going up now, the two boats seem to be still together up in the lead there. And all the rest thing, uh, with the gaps stayed fairly steady. The, just immediately behind the tail, the wash there um, from the paddles is not as great in these boats at the back here as they are in the, the ones up at front. They, they've really got to disturb that water when they're going along. But then the, they are, of course, the seniors as opposed to the open teams. The steely eyed racers up in the front there. That uh, looks good now, a little bit of a charge for the line. Well, the Slovakia are not giving up too easily, are they? They're, uh, everybody there is fairly level. That Ukraine seem to be on the outside of those two. I think Ukraine have got a chance of just just, just overhauling the uh, Slovakians. 
but you could look out for the Germans. Uh, the Hungarians are behind them. Behind them. Uh, they are paddling with intent. Yeah. Yeah, those guys will feel good at the end of the race, having pipped another boat. Yeah, Ukraine now just gone into the lead. I wonder if Slo Slovakia will change their tactic and do a big sprint. No, they've kept the same rate. Yeah. Uh, Hungary. And Germany. And Czech Republic coming in. Czech Republic, lots of noise for the local team. That's it, relax folks. And Ukraine here out on their own, nobody at the front or the back. And the others are spread out right the way down the course. They're all on this final leg now. That's the Ukrainian senior A's. They can relax. And Czech Republic uh, senior A's as well. Good, pa good paddle angles, good timing. There they are. Maybe a pretty good bow wave through there. And along comes Russia, having left Poland behind. These are all the seniors still, of course, in Russia. Over the line they go. In the um, IDBF championships, you know, you think about the country trying to produce teams spread out like Russia, USA, Canada, Australia. There's, uh, several hours flying between some of the places for them to go and do their trials. Here we are, Poland coming across the line. Well done, you. Well done, Poland. They're allowed to, the last leg. Yep, they've crossed the line. They're coming down the last leg. They can come down anywhere on the uh, course to get to the finish line. Thank you, Murray. And that's that was race five, standard boat, open, premium, and senior A, 2,000 metres. We will bring you the uh, results when we have them. I do have the results from the um, race four, the earlier, the earlier race between um, premier women and also within that c within that competition, there was a senior A women competition going on too. So, um, in first place for uh, standard boat women at 2,000 meters was Germany with a time of 9:23.5. Second, Czech Republic, 9:23.8. Third, Ukraine, 9:34.7. Uh, fourth, Hungary. 940.4 that was the premier women and then uh, first place in the senior a women was czech republic 958.4 great britain senior a women 958.7 italy third 1042.6 and czech republic senior b women 1030.0 so uh, given there was only one cat race category in there then czech republic senior b women took first place Welcome, welcome back. Uh, just got the results from that last race. And Czech Republic, the Premier Open team, 
8.20.37 in the second was Germany, 8.28.1, third was Ukraine, Premier Open, 8.30.85, Hungary Premier Open, 8.33.4, Russia Senior A Open, I'm just moving over here just so I can see, 8.34, Czech Republic Senior Open, 8.41, Ukraine Premier Open, 8.42, Slovakia Premier Open, 8.50, and Poland Senior A Open in 9.28. Sorry, there's a lot of people stood in front of the scoreboard, so it's a little bit difficult to see. And uh, Czech Republic are delighted to get that first place. There's quite a crowd gathering down here on a lovely um, afternoon in the Czech Republic, in Rasisi. This is the EDBF, 11th European Nations Dragon Boat Championships. We've had some great racing. We're on to race six ahead of time. And it will be standard boat mixed, junior, senior B and C. And in that race, there will be Germany, senior B mixed, Czech Republic, senior B mixed, Italy, senior B mixed. Ukraine Senior B mixed, Czech Republic Senior C mixed, Germany Senior C mixed, Poland Junior mixed, Great Britain Junior mixed, Germany Junior mixed, and Hungary Junior mixed. So there's going to be 10 teams in this race, three different competitions going on in one race. It's going to amount to some fantastic viewing and spectacular turns on the corners. I was with the um, under 18s juniors from the Great Britain team yesterday and they took me out in the boat, uh, microphone in hand and uh, hopefully you caught some of that coverage but it was fantastic to watch these juniors really giving it some um, maximum force on those paddles faster than the Ferrari taking off, it was brilliant. So we're just waiting for the next race, the next race to come along. There will be a, a medal podium um, ceremony is coming up later. We've had one already. There's probably going to be a number of them all come together, accumulating at the end of the day, maybe. But there's a lot of Ukrainians at the board at the moment, and I think they're very happy with the result that they got in that um, third, um, in that um, first position in that last race. So, a van coming through. Don't know where that came from, but. Uh, it's going to take him a while to get through the crowds here. A um, few Swiss national girls walking past. We've heard the cowbells going earlier, huge cowbells. Big feature of the opening ceremony. They were the last team to, to walk into the stadium. Some very funny noises being made from Peter Klima on stage, who's uh, the uh, stadium announcer. Um, looking over to the right here, the uh, teams for the next race. Excuse me, standard six. Standard, um, standard boats race six is um, they're happening. They're starting to go round in an elliptical uh, movement to get ready for this race six coming up. Three races in one, three competitions in one. So, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. Of course, there are two more, two more days to go after today. And we'll be kicking off in the morning around 9 o'clock with the 200 metres racing the short sprints. So blink and you miss them. And then on um, Sunday we will be uh, finishing with the Blue Ribbon event, the 500 metres Blue Ribbon event. Some announcements being made by the organiser. This evening there'll um, no doubt be um, more celebrations, there'll be a lot of crowds coming down for the evening because there is um, some, the, the organisers have laid on some uh, special activities to entertain the locals and uh, us the officials on site here at Rasisi. Last night we had a, an American blues band, it was very good. Had a very nice meal, some lovely company, but the uh, energy and the excitement will be much more tonight.
as there will be more people breaking up for the weekend. Looking forward to spending their weekend of relaxation here at the Rasisi Stadium to watch some more amazing dragon boating. Permission from EDBF official to announce the results and the results was just on the table. Czech Republic Premier Open, this is a European Champions team. Peter Klima, an unbiased man, I'm sure, but he's very happy that his Czech Republic team has taken a gold medal. The Czech Republic Premier Open team won, won the Open Premier Standard Boat 2000 meter pursuit competition. Second place was Germany, third place was Hungary, Ukraine took the senior A open, Russia in second place in the senior A open, and Poland the third for the senior A open. With so Peter, I think Peter Klima, the organizer, has gone into overdrive, he's very happy. Sponzoruje tuto kategorii a kormidelníkovi a mistrovi Evropy tleská za jeho bravurní práci, který si zaslouží. He's just handed a congratulatory drink to the Czech Republic team who are all gathered by the medal podium area, smiling away, sharing some of that golden nectar, which must taste all the more better for winning. The greatest tonic for tiredness is to win. We're getting ready for this next race. The next race is uh, uh, race six, the uh, standard boat mix junior race, senior B and senior C racing. So, some people are a little bit sceptical about having three different race classifications going on in one competition, but it does add for the viewing, and it's certainly great experience for these juniors who are no slouches in the racing. So, even though they're up against more senior teams, there's nothing to stop these uh, junior guys uh, pulling off maybe some surprises in this race. But we are nearly ready. For the start of this race, I can see the junior team going past me now in boat number two. And that's the team that took me out yesterday for a, a quick run around the 2000 meter course. Microphone in hand. And I hope you caught some of that coverage because they really did, uh, they did a 40 stroke start. And uh, they took off like a Ferrari. They were really amazing. Anyway, without being biased myself, I wish all the team... I wish all the teams well, and um, it will be starting very shortly. Lots of people mingling in the uh, in the crowds. I'm just going to grab Stuart again. I've just seen somebody who I know speaks English, and uh, uh, Stuart, Great Britain team, uh, having fun. Oh, I'm absolutely amazing, mate! Absolutely amazing. Yeah, get a medal, first what, first race ever. I'm knocked out, knocked out. I'll have to worship you now when I come to, uh, you know, uh, I, I, maybe I can't s sit next to you anymore in the boat. Hey, this is a sport where you can sit next to anybody. <laughs> that's, the, that's the great thing about this sport. You, tall, short, fat, thin, male, female. You can all sit in the same boat. And I was sitting beside a world champion two weeks after. I took it up last year. Yeah. And um, it, it, it made me feel completely yeah. welcome in the boat. Yeah. And that's why I stuck with it. It's just fantastic sport. And you were telling me actually that uh, it wasn't so long ago that you had you were weighing what were you weighing? I was 16, nearly 16 and a half stone, and uh, uh, fat, fed up, and miserable. And uh, found this sport and haven't looked back. And look, you know, it's been wonderful. And my friend, my teammate Arnel, persuaded persuaded me to try out for the Grand Dragons last autumn, and I was sitting in the boat with a full male crew and their immense talent you know you've got decades of talent in that boat and to go that fast it was 
like a drug and you know you're going 16 17 kilometers an hour when you're racing down that river at Raysbury yeah, with a with the helm shouting at you the drummer shouting it brilliant absolutely awesome well Stuart congratulations on your medal and uh, I look forward to getting in the boat again with you in Thames uh, when I get back when my old shoulder and neck is okay but um Funnily enough, I've not felt any pain at all while I've been here, so maybe just watching dragon boating has been the cure. Stop doing stupid things like judo when you're your age. Uh, well, what can I say? Uh, I don't want. I was doing something on the bucket list, but I don't want to kick the bucket. Not, not yet. Anyway, we want you back in the boat for the river race. All right. Thank you very much. Cheers, Stuart. Cheers. Right, we're going to be uh, starting race six, the uh, standard boat mixed. Junior, Senior B and Senior C race classifications. Let's go back to Murray Jones in the studio, in the commentary area for the start of this race. Murray. Yes, um, here are the boats now are coming along quietly to their starting position. Boat two should come up alongside boat one. They're uh, all being paired off all the way down. And the umpire in the uh, yellow boat in the background just guiding them into position. So these are all mixed racing. Minimum of uh, eight women in the boat, maximum 12. Germany, Czech Republic, Italy, Ukraine, they're all senior B, and then senior C, Czech Republic, Germany, and then junior mixed, Poland, Great Britain, Germany, and Hungary. So that should make a grand sight. And here they are now getting close to being set off by the starter. Here we go, there's Germany on the way. Counted down, I can hear that being called now, they're going. Senior B, Czech Republic, mixed. Italy now, stirring up that water. A very slight timing problem in that boat. And the yellow of Ukraine again. Senior B mixed. I got the boat fairly well, fairly well balanced. Senior C mix, these are the old folks. And they're looking. They got all the right, right action, just not quite a little enough boost behind the paddle. In Germany, Senior C mix. Now they're looking determined, there's a fair old stir up of the water there. There they go. Right, now we see the uh, the young rabbits going off to them. Starting with Poland, they're off. Yeah, getting up to speed till the boat's is almost training and then they slow down again for the for this the distance paddling. Great Britain uh, oh timing, timing. Here they go, a fantastic rate that they're training. And what's more, the last time we saw them doing that, they, they, they did all the way around the 2,000 meters. And behind them, Germany. <laughs> and the last but not least uh, is Hungary. Up to the line. 
There they go. Now their boats are uh, all in the procession. Somebody's being caught at the far end. Fourth catching third, Ukraine catching Italy. Ah, yes. Italy always looking good, but we haven't seen them in the results for a while. And they're now being caught. But all the other positions seem to be holding. A little bit of a lull from the cheering crowd until they uh, get into air shot again. Germany seem to have um, pulled out a bit on the Czech Republic there. They got more than the 15 seconds or so that they where they started. That's a good steady stroke, good hard punch in the beginning of the stroke. Let that water really know it's uh, it being used. Looks almost lazy when it's done properly, all timing right, paddle angles the same. Like all sports, when, it, when they're done properly, it looks like they've got all the time in the world. Yeah, didn't waste any space there, the Germans coming round. Uh, who we got now? Uh, the Czech Republic, followed by Ukraine. And Ukraine having overtaken Italy now, Italy coming along. Uh, we've got two boats together coming along here now. What have we got? Germany have overtaken uh, Czech Republic and the senior seas. Jet, jet propelled boat there for the old folks. Great sight seeing the boats together like that. Now we've got Poland Junius coming along now. GB Junius is still keeping up that incredibly rapid pace that they've lost a fair bit on Poland. They're not using that water too well. See the Polish slower stroke, but they're burying the whole paddle and making it work. Uh, the, the Great Britain juniors don't seem to be using too much in the water there, the paddle. Careful steering by the Great Britain juniors there. And following on behind, Germany and Hungary. And Hungary are busy getting close to Germany behind there. Uh, Great Britain ought to be up there with the, uh, with the Polish guys. They're going to be losing a lot of time. Oops, it lost its steering on the uh, Great Britain boat. It's very difficult. There's a whole ton of a full boat and people 
and if you just let it get swinging a bit it goes and it really is difficult to bring it back again there we are some nice close uh, racing at the back end of Hungary and Germany well the boats are pretty well spread out now three boats having on the, on the home straight and the next fourth one's only just started the uh, turn at the far end Well, the junior, uh, the Germany senior bees are doing well. They've got a good steady stroke there. That's nice to watch. Well, Ukraine having left Italy behind, are busy having a go at uh, at Czech Republic now. They really have done well. When you think that their rivers are all frozen over in the winter. Here they come. The first one's coming over the line now. Well done, Germany. That's good. And Ukraine having a really good go at overtaking the Czech Republic. Just won't quite make it. Not quite enough room. Only coming up to the 50 meter mark. And they've got half a length behind. Yeah, good racing, good racing. And now, just coming past the 200 meter mark. Are the Italians. And the senior C is beginning to catch them as well. Yeah, they, they come now, a little bit of a gaggle coming together, and then we've got quite a way before we get some more. But the Polish youngsters have overtaken one of the senior boats. I reckon they're in. Uh, they're, they're heading for gold medal in this race. Well done, Poland. And here come Italy. And Germany. And these are the Polish youngsters. Uh, they've been well drilled. That's good. Look, look at that. Really churning up that water. Well done, those. Well done, you all. Czech Republic coming in. Great chorus on the banks. And the Great Britain juniors with their very short stroke coming in. By the... Uh, Easy, well done, youngsters. Uh, Hungary. And finally, the German juniors. There we are, nice race. Lots to see. Bits of overtaking going on here and there. And you see a multitude of um, styles for making these boats go. And I think even though we have been going for quite a few years, um, the, the, metal, the me uh, method of um, paddling is going to be changing until somebody comes out with a complete optimum. Um, but of course, you've got to be fit as well and do your training. But it's interesting to see some of them doing well when they don't appear to be. 
and some of them the slightly more lazily stroke but putting the power in at the right point of it. We're looking now at the, the yellow boat. That's um, Jerry Keenbeck. Ah, that's Jerry from uh, the <laughs> Netherlands mm -hmm. on one of the Marshall's boats. Have we got him? Yes. Uh, um, umpire's boat. Umpire's boat. Sorry, on the Marshall. Uh, umpire's boats. Yeah. Thank you, Murray, for <laughs> that correction. I stand corrected, slap wrists, and uh, I must try harder. <laughs> that's Jerry from the Netherlands. All hard working guys. And uh, there's no flags up, is there? So that was okay, that race? Yeah, yeah. So you've just seen um, race six. Three classes of racing going on there with the, the juniors, the, um, the mixed juniors, the uh, senior B and senior C classifications. And for those who are just tuning in and wondering what they mean, then Senior uh, uh, B is the over 40s uh, age group, the uh, category, and uh, Senior C is the over 50 age group. So if you're in either of those age groups and you fancy being in a dragon boat, then get involved.